Our top story tonight, President Bakane spoke with Chinese President Xi Jinping on the phone late Friday night about North Korea's nuclear program and its latest announcement to launch a long-range missile. We go to our presidential office correspondent Song Jisun, who is standing by on the line with us. Jisun, historic phoner before the big holiday, as the North has indicated it will launch the rocket sometime within the next several weeks from Monday. That's right, Daniel. During their 45-minute phone call made by C, the two leaders discussed countermeasures on Pyongyang's nuclear ambitions as well as strengthening their ties in various aspects. Park stressed that Pyongyang's continued threats and its nuclear ambitions pose a serious threat in the region and that the international community must come up with strong sanctions that can actually change North Korea. President Park called for China's active cooperation in imposing effective sanctions on North Korea as Beijing is a permanent member of the U.N. Security Council. This is the first time a Chinese leader has spoke on the phone with a South Korean president about a North Korean nuke test since the first one in uh, 2006. A day after the fourth test on January 6, Park spoke with U.S. President Barack Obama and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe just a day later. Now, Beijing's representative to six-party Dean Korean talks at Wuda Wei visited Pyongyang on Tuesday, but Pyongyang announced an apparent plan for a long-range missile test that day, forwarding its nuclear ambitions. President Park has previously proposed a six-party talks without North Korea, an idea in which Beijing has not warmed up to. The presidential office, the National Security Council, and the Defense Ministry in Seoul are in full standby over the five-day Lunar New Year holiday, which begins on this Saturday, as Pyongyang offered a window for the launch from February 8th until the 25th, some time between 7 in the morning and noon. This has been Song Jisun reporting live at Seoul's presidential office of Cheongwadae.